A call for motorists to exercise caution and body of President Mutarika to be flown back to Malawi. Good day to you. The Road Traffic Management Corporation, the RTMC, says drivers are becoming impatient on heavily congested roads across the country, increasing the risk of accidents. Many motorists are anxious to get home in time for the reopening of schools tomorrow. Roads under pressure are the N3 between Durban and Johannesburg, the N2 over Sir Lowry's Pass in the Western Cape, and the N1 south between Polokwane and Pretoria. The Transport Ministry's Tiani Rokotso. The Department of Transport pleads with motorists to remain calm and exercise patience on the roads as they make their way back. And our law enforcement officers will once again be in all the major national routes to ensure the smooth flow of traffic and to act against road rule violations. The RTMC's meanwhile appealed to motorists on the N1 between Pulukwani and Pretoria to exercise caution. Hundreds of motorists are stuck in long queues at five toll gates along the N1 south. Thousands of ZCC pilgrims and holidaymakers are heading back home. The Road Traffic Management Corporation's Ashraf Ishmael. Some of these toll plazas, there is a five to six kilometer backup. We want to appeal to road users to exercise extreme caution as well as be patient because the toll plazas have indicated that they are opening maximum number of gates and we want to appeal to road users just to be careful. There is no suitable alternative route to speak about. Traffic will begin to subside from seven o'clock onwards. We will have higher than usual traffic volumes. The body of Malawi's president, Bingu Wa Mutarika, will be flown from South Africa to Malawi on Thursday. An official from the Foreign Affairs Ministry has told news agency AFP that the late president will be flown by a South African military plane. After suffering a heart attack on Thursday, Mutarika was flown to South Africa. He was pronounced dead on arrival at a military hospital outside Pretoria. The date for his funeral hasn't been made public yet. Initial figures indicate that more than 100,000 visitors flocked to Durban and surrounding areas during the Easter weekend. Head of Durban Tourism, Philip Satoli, says the economic spinner for the city could be estimated at more than 300 million rand. According to the numbers received so far, the percentage has increased by about 10% compared to the number of people that we had last year. Some of the hotels, those who are along the coast, for Friday and Saturday, they had around 80 to 90% occupancy. When it comes to the economic spend of people who were going to visit the city, we were estimating that we would do maybe around 8% more compared to the economic spend that we had last year. Syrian military forces have killed 30 people when they shelled a town in the central province of Hama. News agency Reuters reports that 17 children and 8 women were among those killed. Activists say 40 people were killed in an army attack on the same town on Saturday. The man overseeing Mali's return to democratic rule has met with the army captain who seized power last month. Mali's Speaker of Parliament, who will be the interim president under a power transfer deal, arrived at a military camp near the capital, Bamako, to meet with Captain Amado Sanogo. The interim president will be tasked with organizing elections. Transitional authorities must address the situation in the north of the country, which since the coup has been taken over by Tuareg rebels.